let's look at some ways to print stuff into the terminal using Rust. Here's the folder structure and we'll create a new file called print.rs under the folder source bin. I'll open my code editor and inside source bin, let's create a new file called print.rs. The reason why we're creating a file under source bin is so that this file can be executable. I'm going to first turn off some warnings by typing hashtag exclamation mark brackets and then say allow unused. If you have Rust Analyzer enabled inside your code editor, this will tell to ignore some of the warnings. Okay, let me show you some examples of how to use print. Fn main. Let's start with a simple example. Let's say that lang is equal to Rust. And if you want to print this into the terminal, we'll type print ln with an exclamation mark. Print ln means print whatever stuff that goes inside the parentheses and followed by a new line. And for the first example, let's say hello. And we want to print this variable lang. The way you would do this is put a curly braces and then outside this double quotes, you'll put the variable lang. And if you have two variables, then you might do something like this. And then, so here you will need to pass in two variables, lang and lang. For variables, you can also do a shortcut. You can inline the variable. So here, instead of putting the lang over here, you can put it inside the curly braces, lang. Okay, let's try running a simple example. So inside my terminal, I'll type cargo run dash dash bin. The file is called print. Okay, and then you can see hello Rust, hello Rust, Rust, and then hello Rust. Okay, let's go back. For the print ln example, you can also pass in positional arguments. For example, let's say that x is equal to 2. And then let's say we're going to print out the multiplication of x by itself. So print ln wants to say something multiplied by something is equal to the product of x multiplied by x. So what you would do over here is let's say for the first input we'll put in x and for the next input we'll put in an x again and for the last input we'll put the product of x multiplied by x and over here after the double quotes we put in x and then x multiplied by x the zero over here refers to the first input after the double quotes and the one over here refers to the second input after the double quotes here we're using positional arguments to say that for here put in the first input and for here, put in the second input. Okay, let's try running the example again. So inside the terminal, I'll type cargo run bin print. Okay, and then we get two times two equals four. Next, I'm gonna show you an example of printing a struct. Rust allows you to declare custom data such as structs and enums. So for example, let's say that we have a struct and don't worry for now, if you don't know what a struct is, I'll cover this in another video. Let's say that I have a struct, let's say lang for programming language. And it has two fields, language, string, and let's say version, also string. Okay, and then we'll create this struct. Let's say that lang is equal to lang struct with language being Rust and the version, let's say 1.8.3. Now, if you wanted to print this out, we will say print ln. There's two helpful ways to print this out. We can use the debug feature by putting in curly braces, colon, and then question mark and then followed by the data that we want to print. In this case, this will be the lang struct, lang. Now, if you try to save this, you'll get a compilation error saying that lang does not implement debug. To fix this, what you need to do is declare an attribute on this struct. What an attribute is, is it's basically a metadata that tells to add some functionality to this struct. To do this, you'll type hashtag brackets and then type derive, derive debug. This will tell Rust to auto-generate a code so that this bang struct can be printed out nicely. And now you'll see that the error is gone. Another way to print this bang struct is to use a variation of this. And this is over here, you put another hashtag. The difference is the first line will print bang as a struct. The next line will also print this bang struct, but with some line breaks. Okay, so let's see some examples. I'm going back to the terminal, and then I'll execute the command again, cargo run bin print. Okay, so notice here we have the struct lang printed out. And on the next line, we have the same struct printed out, except this time it has some line breaks. So these are some examples of using print ln to print stuff into the console. Now, before we end this video, I'm going to show you one command that's going to be helpful when you're writing Rust code. The command is called cargo format, cargo FMT. What it will do is it will format your code. So let's say that we have some bunch of line breaks and maybe the indentation is off. 
If you run this command cargo format inside your terminal, this will fix your code so that indentations will be fixed and unnecessary line breaks will be removed. Now I have my code editor configured so that cargo format will run every time I save this file. So if I save this file, you'll see that the unnecessary line breaks are removed and the indentations are fixed. You can also run this inside your terminal. Inside your terminal, you can say cargo FMT. And this will format all of the code inside this hello rust folder. 